Hi, it's Cheryl, and I'm back again, and I'm going to show you today how to make a double dragon scale on two forks. So this is the equivalent to doing it on um, four pegs on a loom. And so let's get started. I have here two forks that I put together. I wrapped a rubber band around three times. You know, it's going to vary in how many times you wrap it around in accordance to just how tight you want your rubber band. You want it as tight as you can get it without breaking it, of course. And I'm going to get started now. Your first row is going to be your row that you do in the eights. So you put the first one on. I'll bring it up close so you can see what I'm doing. Put your first one on. You twist it. And then you put it in one. It really doesn't matter which way you twist this. Okay? Put your second one on. And then you're going to twist it. Oops. Second one on. Twist it. And put it in one. So you've got it on. This is really the exact same thing as you, same way as you start your um, single dragon scale. Your first row. Okay, and you're going to your second or your second fork. I start on the outside. I twist it. Put it on those two. Start. Put it here. Twist it, and that way I have it on all four tongs. And it's just an eight. Really doesn't matter which way you twist it. Okay. As long as you and it's only getting one twist in between each, and it's just so it looks like an eight. All right, so that's your first row. That's the only row that you're twisting from there on. You are going to put a green over these middle two, a green over these middle two, and a green. Well, I'm saying green, whatever color you're going to use, over these two prongs. Okay, from here. I'm going to find my pick. So you can use your fingers. I like to use a pick because with my nails it's more conducive. And you're going to pull your bottom row up over your top. You notice I'm not doing the very ends because there is no bottom row for the ends. I'm going all the way across and any place where there's two, I'm pulling the bottom up over the top. And pulling it all the way up over the top of the tongue of the fork. Push that down. If you can pull it through, sometimes you can't until you've got a few rows on it. But if you can, grab a whole bunch of it in the back and pull it. Give it a good tug. Okay? Then you're going to do your row of pinks. So I put a pink around these two. One around the second set of two. And just go down the row, or whatever color you're using. going to take a while till you start seeing something off the back of this, just like the regular dragon scale. It takes a while till you start seeing anything that resembles a bracelet. And this with this one you're taking the whole row over. I'm sorry if I don't have that up close enough. Let's get this to focus for us. There we go. So we're taking the whole bottom row over the top. This one I have a harder time showing you because this is generally not how I hold it when I'm doing it. I hold it closer to me, so it's kind of awkward to hold the two forks out in front of the video camera the way I'm doing it. I think you'll get the idea when you start doing this. It's easier to hold it up tight closer to you. Okay, pull it in the back again. 
had to figure out my camera to keep it from adjusting in and out of focus on you like it's doing. On us like it's doing. Okay. And you're going to keep going and alternating between your rows like this. So the next row is going to be the middle. These two. In the middle. And pull over the bottom. Pull everything tight in the back. So the next row is going for me to be the pink. After this row, I'm going to show you, since all you have to do is rewind it and play it again to see how to keep going with the rows, because they all just keep repeating like this. So after this row, I'm going to show you how to take it off. So it takes a while to start seeing something. Now you're, um, you're starting to see something, a design come out the back of it now, okay? So I'm going to set this one aside because I have one that I worked on for a while. So I can show you how to take it off of the forks. So you can see what a nice design we get from it. All right. What you're going to do, and this one I did on some plastic forks, is you're going to take your end hoop you're going to lift it off and move it over one. And you're going to do the same thing. Let our camera adjust a little bit. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. Take the end hoop, take it off, move it over one. Okay. And then do the same thing with the inside one, the inside end. Move it over one. And then this inside end. Move it over one. Okay. And then these four are the ones that you're going to use to put your C clips on. So let me show you how to do that. You're going to do that from this side. You're going to pull it out. My clips are a little different than yours. These are the clips I got from the um, Lucky Loom Company. And I really love these clips because they're colored. So you just slide the clips everywhere where we have it doubled. Come on, focus. I don't like that it's not focusing for us here. Oh, there we are. I think we got it. All right, everywhere that I put that over and it doubled, I'm going to slide, slide a clip through. So the first two, the second two, the third two, and the fourth two. All right. There you put one on the first two. Now I'm slipping it through the second two. Make sure you get both hoops when you do this. And then my end one. Okay. Then 
only two out clips in all of them. You can take them off. And you can put them around and find where you, a good place to hook them to the other side. I'm just gonna find the best spot that's gonna work the best. The spot that's gonna work the best for you. The spot as far as clipping them. These clips I especially love because they lock once you clip them. So they lock in place. They're really nice. But you're gonna do that with all four of them. I'm not gonna have you wait while I lock all four of them. So you, but you can see how you're doing that. Take out all four of your clips. Find your spot on the other side and lock them. And then you get a nice 8-pin cuff bracelet out of it. And that's all there is to it. I hope that helped. If you have any questions, let me know.